Hey guys, welcome back to What Shaw Said and welcome to the very first in my brand new series that I am calling Mommy Mondays. I have decided that in an effort to um, kind of open our world up to you a little bit more and share a little bit more of our lives with you, um, I am going to be posting on Mondays things that are mommy related and baby related. Um, if you missed my announcement a few weeks ago or actually a few months ago probably at this point, um, we are, I got married last year and we are expecting our very first human child very soon. Um, we have an awesome fur baby and he is fantastic and um, it's gonna be interesting to see how everybody adjusts to having a new baby in the house, but we are super excited. And so, um, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and start this to bring you along on the journey and just kind of document things for ourselves that we can, you know, kind of look back on later. This is um, for both my husband and me, it's our first child. We do have nieces and nephews, but um, as far as, you know, being 100% responsible for a human, this is our first go. So um, I wanna go ahead and show you, I have been stocking up. I have been taking advantage of the um, cartwheel offers at Target. And let me first encourage you, if you are near a Target and you do not have the Cartwheel app, um, my Canadian friends, I'm so sorry that you don't have Target anymore, but um, the Target or the, um, the Cartwheel app is fantastic. I, you know, of course they have like your regular discounts and um, coupons and things like that, but for the third time in about three months, they have actually had kind of like a rebate offer where if you spend X amount of dollars on baby items, you get a gift card to use later. Um, twice that has been spend $100 on baby items and you get a $20 gift card back. And then just this, um, this past week, the offer was spend $75 on baby items and get a $15 gift card. So I took advantage of two of those. I did take advantage of both of the offers for $100 uh, and get back 20. I have not yet taken advantage of the spend 75, but I'm actually filming this on a Saturday and today is the last day of the offer. So there is a good possibility that I will still go run out and uh, make a target run still this afternoon. But in the meantime, I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I have. Like I said, this is my very first mommy and baby haul. I'm super excited to um, be sharing it with you. If I have picked up things that you love or that you hate or that you have any experience with, please, please, please feel free to share what you love and what you don't love about these items. Um, we're just going into this blind here, guys, so <laughs> help us out. Um, okay, so I wanted to go ahead and start, so let me show you what we've got. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. First of all, I know that a lot of things baby related are super particular to the baby. I know the same diapers don't work for everybody and you know, as far as pacifiers and bottles and things like that, they're very, the baby will tell you what they want. So um, those kind of things I'm just gonna run through real quick and then we'll get to um, some of the more fun stuff. So here we go. So the first thing, like I said, um, you need diapers. So I have picked up a lot of different types of diapers and not having any experience with what works and what doesn't work, um, I went with a bunch of different brands. I did pick up only one box of size newborn diapers and that's because obviously we don't know how big our baby is gonna be. Um, I was about six and a half pounds when I was born. My husband was about seven and a half pounds when he was born. Um, and we do know that we are going to deliver probably between week 37 and week 38. 
So um, I will get into all of that and how I know that and why I know that and what issues mean that we're gonna have a scheduled delivery and all that stuff um, when I do my Mommy Monday next week. But because of that, um, obviously we don't know what the weight of our baby is going to be, but we were both on the more average to petite side. So I don't anticipate we're gonna have like a giant 10 or 12 pound baby or something. So I did only get one box of newborn diapers and I probably will pick up at least one more before we, um, before we go ahead and go in for delivery. But uh, for now, I have one box of newborns and that does go up to size, or not size 10, um, 10 pounds rather. And I just got the Up and Up brand. Obviously, like I said, we don't know what brand is gonna work for us, but um, this is the, the ones that we are starting with. I don't recall exactly how much these were. I think maybe about $18.99, um, and this is just the Target house brand. Next, I got another box of Up and Up, and these are in size one. So these actually will fit size um, uh, eight to 14 pounds and I just got one case of these and there are 176 diapers in this one this box was not on sale and I paid $21.99 for um, 176 diapers for this one the next diapers we're going to try are the Huggies little snugglers and these also go up to 14 pounds they're size one and I honestly have not heard that much about Huggies brand. Um, they don't seem to be one of the really more popular brands. Um, I do hear a lot about Pampers and then I do hear a lot about more of the like boutique companies. Um, but I just don't hear a lot about Huggies. So um, I, I thought we would try them and we'll see if they work for us. There are a hundred diapers in this pack. And like I said, they are size one, so they go up to um, 14 pounds. And this one, I don't recall how much I paid for them. I wanna say maybe like in the 20 to $22 range. The next brand that we're going to try is from The Honest Company. And I know The Honest Company is super trendy right now. I don't know if it's because they are supposed to be more natural, they are eco-friendly. Um, I don't know if it's because of that or because the brand is owned by Jessica Alba or I, I really don't know what the draw is with The Honest Company or if they just really are that much better. Um, I did go ahead and pick up one box of size one. These are not cheap. So regardless of whether they work or not, they're expensive diapers. This case is um, 80 diapers, and I wanna say it was around like $24.99, something like that. I did have a coupon from the Cartwheel app, but it wasn't that great of a discount. I wanna say it was maybe like 50 cents or a dollar off or something. Um, so that seems high to me for only 80 diapers. Um, I do know that if you go through the Honest Company, you can get a subscription, and I think you do save a little bit of money that way, but um, we're just gonna try these. I wanna see if they're as great as people say. Um, hopefully one of the less expensive options work for us. I'll be totally okay with that. All right, lastly, I did pick up two cases of the Pampers Pure, and unlike the Huggies brand, I have heard a ton on the mommy vlogs and on the mommy Facebook groups. I've heard a ton about these Pampers Pure. Obviously they haven't been out for that long, so maybe that's why there's a lot of chatter about them right now, but um, I do like the idea that they are more natural. We're not super crunchy people. We don't like eat all organic or, you know, anything like that, but um, I do like the idea of fewer dyes and fewer additives for, you know, you just, you don't want to put all that stuff on baby's fresh, you know, skin or, um, but on the other hand too, I kind of think, you know, our parents just choose regular diapers with us and I feel like we turned out okay. So, <laughs> um, but anyways, 
so we did uh, pick up two cases of the Pampers Pure Diapers. This is, these are also size one and these are 74 diapers per case. Um, these also are on the more expensive side. They were $24.99 and um, I did have a cartwheel offer that was $3 off, so that brought them down to $21.99 per case, which brings them dollar-wise to the same as the Up and Up brand, but this is 74 diapers per case, and the Up and Up brand is $174 per case. Next, we have, since we've already gone through all the different diapers that we've chosen, now I'm gonna show you the different types of wipes that we chose. So the very first kind that I picked up were these unscented wipes from the Up and Up brand, obviously another Target find. And these, I don't remember exactly the cost of them, but they were very reasonable. There are 500 wipes in this case. It's five packs of 100 each and um, they are unscented, which I like, but they're not the, um, they don't necessarily say that they are um, like more natural. They have, um, they have vitamin E and aloe in them, but they do say they're hypoallergenic. So I, we probably won't use these right away. I wanna use something a little bit more natural right away, but it's always nice to have these just to kind of clean up messes and um, you know, just to kind of have around. So like I said, these were super reasonably priced and there are 500 in this case. Then I also picked up a case of the Huggies Natural Care Wipes and these are fragrance free. They are, um, they say safe for sensitive skin and these actually say on the top, it says pure and gentle 99% water. So these are more, um, these are gonna be closer to like your Pampers Pure, um, you know, or something like that. I looked at the Pampers Pure wipes and these just ended up being a much better deal. There's 552 wipes in this case and this case was $14.99. I had a coupon for, I think it was $2 off. So this ended up being $12.99 and the case for a similar size of the Pampers Pure, I wanna say it was closer to $20. So I hate to nickel and dime. I know, you know, it's not necessarily all about the cost. It's about what works for your family and what works for your baby. Um, but since everything is trial and error, um, I'm perfectly happy to try with the lesser expensive and then if we need to go a little bit more specialized or you know kind of go in a different direction um, then we certainly will but um, like I said if there isn't a great distinction between the two um, I'm probably gonna stick with the ones that are a little bit less expensive okay I did also go ahead and pick up a small pack of water wipes I heard about these on a mommy vlog after I had already picked up a lot of these items. And um, she, the mommy that I was watching, she said that this is the only thing that she used on her brand new baby as soon as they brought her home from the hospital because they are 99.9% .9 water. I went ahead and went out in search of a pack of these and I went to my Walmart, which is like a half a mile away, and they didn't have anything. This was the only size that they had, which is um, 60 wipes, and it was probably a few dollars, maybe $3.99 or something. Um, this was the only size pack that they had, so we will try these out. I think we will use these the first you know, little while once baby comes home, and then we'll probably just switch to something like the natural care. Um, but I did want to try these out because I had honestly never heard of them before I watched her vlog. And then the last little package of wipes that I got, I know this was probably overpriced. I paid full price for it at Target. Um, this was $3.99 and I think um, it is Huggies brand. I think it is also the natural care line. But um, the, the reason this appealed to me is because I didn't want to have to worry about something like the water wipes where it's just a little plastic seal. You know, it's just a sticker basically. So you throw these in the diaper bag and is it going to stay sealed? Is it going to come open and leak everywhere? Are they going to dry out? What, you know, um, 
I like this packaging because first of all, it's refillable and re it's resealable and it also has this lock closure on it. So you know that it's closed. You know that first of all, all of the juice is staying in the wipes and your diaper bag is staying dry. So like I said, probably overpriced for what it is, but for the peace of mind, I was happy to pay the $3.99 um, and I feel like this is something that we'll get a lot of use out of. Okay, since we're talking about wipes and wiping things, um, why don't I go ahead and share with you the rest of the types of wipes that I picked up. Um, these two are actually almost identical. This is the Up and Up brand hand and face wipes and then the Johnson's brand hand and face wipes. There are um, 25 in this one. Actually, they both have 25 in them. So I'm sure it was like, you know, a little bit of a difference price wise. But um, again, I'm, I'm willing to try the, the brand name, but I'm gonna try the off brand too, just to, to see how well each one of them works. Right when your baby is born, you're not actually supposed to give them a full bath. Um, you're not supposed to give them a bath until their umbilical cord falls off. So these will be nice to have around just to kind of do like a little sponge bath type of thing. <clears throat> um, and also, I'm gonna have some family that's visiting from out of state too and um, we are a Hispanic family and you know, I'm. <sighs> As much as it makes me cringe, I'm sure people will be kissing all over the baby. And so it's nice to, it will be nice to just have these wipes just to kind of, you know, wipe down the baby when, after the visitors go. Um, they'll just be nice to have on hand, I think. So um, one is Johnson's brand and one is the Up and Up brand. And the last kind of wipes that I picked up, these are pacifier wipes, and I didn't actually know such a thing existed until I saw them. They were kind of in like the breastfeeding section at Target. Um, they, it says, safely cleans pacifiers, bottles, cups, and teething toys. So there's no um, alcohol or chemicals really in them. It says 100% food grade. And I think these are genius because they're specifically made to sanitize, but obviously there's not like bleach or any kind of like rough chemicals in there. Um, there is baking soda in there, which is a great antibacterial. Um, and you don't necessarily want something like this to clean a pacifier because that's gonna be popped right back into baby's mouth. And that may not be safe to ingest. So um, I did pick these up and we'll probably just throw them in the diaper bag so we can have them all when we're out and about. Since we're talking about cleansing and antibacterial, are you seeing the theme here? <laughs> um, I picked up a two pack of the Baby Gannix foaming um, hand sanitizer. It's alcohol free. I know you don't necessarily need a baby specific hand sanitizer, but it was included in the toiletry section in the baby aisle. So I went ahead and grabbed some. This is nice because it is foaming. So we're going to go through these two and then um, may or may not repurchase. I don't know. We'll just kind of see what's available. I am a huge proponent, by the way, of real hand washing. I don't actually prefer to use hand sanitizer. I prefer to actually wash my hands. So those are gonna be truly, truly just for like on the go when we're out and about and have to like real quick change a diaper or something like that. Um, I very much prefer washing hands with soap and water. Okay, speaking of washing. <laughs> I picked up the Johnson's Baby Naturals Head to Toe Wash. This is 97% um, naturally derived. It doesn't have dyes or parabens or anything like that in it. I do like the idea of the more natural because you're not putting a bunch of harsh dyes or anything on your directly to your baby's skin. Um, so this is another one that we'll just try it and see if it works. And I hope the baby loves it. And I hope the baby doesn't have a reaction to it. So um, yeah. So we'll, we'll see, we're gonna try the Johnson's Natural. But we have backup just in case. 
Uh, um, this is the Baby Dove line, and I got the tip to toe wash and the lotion. Both of these say sensitive, moisture, and fragrance free. They are hypoallergenic, and um, this one, the tip to toe wash says tear free, and the lotion says pH neutral. So I just was watching a vlog, and it was like a what to pack in your hospital bag vlog, and um, the mommy that I was watching, she said, make sure you pack a baby safe lotion because when you're in the hospital and you know, like you take a shower, you're gonna wanna put lotion on and you don't want something that's like crazy strong fragrance or you know, something that's really, um, that's gonna irritate baby's skin. So I'm actually thinking I might take this one with me. Um, this, it seems like it might be a good option. It does say, like I said, sensitive moisture and it's hypoallergenic, so, um, and fragrance free. So I might go ahead and take this one with me to the hospital and I might start using this on me and baby. And finally, I picked up just one type of bottle. I didn't want to get a ton of different bottles. Um, I am planning to try to breastfeed. I am very, very hopeful that that will work for us. I have never tried that before, um, but I know one of my sisters did and one of my sisters didn't, so I don't, I don't know. I, it's anyone's guess whether that's gonna work for me or not, but I know that we should at least have a little bit of preparation for backup just in case. So I went ahead and picked up one set of Tommy Tippy bottles. There are three, um, just three five ounce bottles in here and this one says they are the um, advanced anti-colic line or whatever it is. Um, the design is what I'm trying to say there. Um, so there's some special design where it says less gas, less spit up and less fussing. So I just picked this up. It does say zero months plus. So in theory, we could use these as soon as baby arrives if we need to. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be using bottles right off hand. I'm hopeful that we won't have to, but at some point I am gonna go back to work. So eventually baby will need to um, learn to take a bottle even if it is um, just a breast milk bottle. So picked those up as well. Okay, got a couple of items here, clothing items for baby, and then I've got a couple of clothing items for mom. So the first one, not exciting at all. Um, this is just a three pack of white body suits. We are um, gonna be delivering in July, so I got short sleeves. Um, these are zero to three months, just Carter's brand, a few dollars, you know, just pick those up anywhere. Then I also picked up these zero to three months. This is a five pack of onesies, super neutral, that I got from TJ Maxx for $9.99. And um, so I thought that's a great deal. It's $2 per, you know, per onesie. Um, so there's one with like a soft elephant on it. One that is gray and white polka dots. I hope you can see that. I hope it's not washed out. Um, there's another just plain white onesie gray and white striped onesie, which I think is adorable. And then the last one is just these little woodland creatures, well, not really woodland creatures, I guess there's a duck, um, elephant, bear, and then some mushrooms on it. So um, most of the clothes that I have purchased are very gender specific, so I won't be sharing those with you right away. Um, we are going to save that until after the baby arrives. But um, this is one that my mom picked up and she sent to us. This is just so cute, but it's, okay, it's six months because I was gonna say it's long sleeves, um, but look at that. It's freshly brewed with a little coffee cup. So that is just adorable. Um, and I don't know where she got it. It's, the brand is Jumping Beans. So I don't know, I'll have to, oh, Kohl's. She got it at Kohl's. Um, so anyways, those are all the outfits that I'm gonna be able to share with you today. Oh, one other thing, I just noticed this sitting down by my feet. I did also pick up a bottle of the Laundry Stain Remover by Draft. This 
um, was also a cartwheel offer. It was like 20% off. So I think it ended up being like 249 or something like that. So um, yeah, so those were my, most of my Target hauls. That was all of my, maybe not super, super exciting, but definitely necessities. Um, so give me just a second to get this stuff cleared out of the way and I will come back and show you what I have picked up for mommy. Hey guys, I am back and I was just checking the footage that I had already recorded on the baby essentials that I bought at Target and I realized how incredibly long-winded I am. Uh, not for the first time, but you know, I just realized again how long it took me to get through all of that stuff. So what I have decided to do is instead of showing you my kind of mommy essentials or maternity things that I've bought right now, um, I'm gonna save that for my next Mommy Monday. Um, I do have two appointments this week. I am meeting with our, hopefully, who will be our new pediatrician, and then I do meet with a specialist on Tuesday as well. So um, I will, I think what I'm gonna do is next Monday, I'm gonna go ahead and record just some updates on my visits, and then I'll show you my um, my mommy essentials then as well. So thank you so much if you have stuck with this um, video this long. I know it was a super long one. And um, thank you again so much for your kind words on this journey. And I hope that you will um, stick around and help us out, provide your advice if you have it. And if you don't, then just provide your support. I do so appreciate you stopping by and I will talk to you soon. Bye.